Can we talk about cruise ship pricing? Disney Treasure recently released all of its, you know, inaugural pricing. And obviously the inaugural cruises are more than normal. But still, like in the first few weeks and months, it's very expensive. And we all know that Disney cruises are more expensive than your traditional cruise. I think that they deserve to be, honestly. And I'm speaking as somebody who was an avid cruiser and worked on cruise ships as an entertainer and director for six years. But something I've never understood about cruise ship pricing, regardless of what line you're on, is how much the room dictates the cost of your vacation. Yes, this kind of goes for like any trip where like the nicer your hotel room, the more expensive your trip is. But we can all agree that wherever you're going, you're not really spending time in your room, right? So to me, what's interesting about cruise ships, or I guess it also applies to like all inclusives, is just how much it can be when literally the entirety of your trip outside of your room is the same no matter how much you paid for your room. I can stay in an inside cabin and I am getting literally the exact same restaurant, the exact same food, the exact same entertainment, the exact same activities, the exact same access to amenities as the person who paid 10 grand plus per person for their trip. And that to me has always blown my mind. Looking at some of the pricing for the Disney treasure, some of these things for a family of four would be like the down payment of a house. Meanwhile, somebody buying an inside cabin is experiencing the exact same trip for the most part for way less. I don't know. Am I crazy? Am I weird for thinking that that's like kind of nuts? Especially because I feel like on a cruise, if you're doing it right, you're not in your cabin. And if you are in your cabin, it's because you're taking a nap. I don't know. I don't know. Just me.